So today I have officially finished the first draft of uh, my project that I started for Camp NaNoWriMo. It is May 4th, so it took me a little bit longer, a little bit past Camp NaNoWriMo for me to actually finish it, but it's currently sitting at, I want to say something like 44,200 words approximately. It is, I think, 38 chapters long. So, um, it's a lot of, uh, words for such a short, a short period of time. Um, I spent about 28 hours on it, which is like, whoa, that's a lot of hours and a lot of words, but, um, I actually don't really like how it ended. Um, I mean, I like how it ended, but just kind of like the last chapter just, you know, you have to end the whole book just right. It, and you know, I kind of specifically wanted to leave one aspect of the story a little open at the end. So what I'm now going to do, what I've been kind of looking forward to, is I'm going to try a new approach to editing and then I'm going to do like the kind of the graph style plotting. Even though I'm done with the story, I'm going to kind of go back and, and plot it out so that I can get a better grasp of like, you know, the character arcs and things like that. So that that way, hopefully I can do a fairly easy big picture edit and then maybe get some feedback from my family. Getting ready to use Excel for the first time to help me come up with my plot chart. So it is May 8th and this morning I worked on adding a scene to my project that I had left out in the beginning because I needed to skip ahead to a different uh, the next chapter. I don't normally do that but um, in that case, I really needed to, so I went through and fixed that, and then a couple days ago, I think it might have been yesterday or the day before, I actually finished kind of the graph plot chart that I was working on, at least the first round of it. So that kind of helped me tweak just a couple things so that I'm getting closer to having it at least, like, you know, presentable where I could, like, read it aloud to my family or something. So, yeah, exciting things. So right now I am taxiing a family member to an appointment. And I'm using this hour so that I have to work on the map. And I think I can show you without giving too much away. I'm just kind of, it's really complicated because there's a lot of secret passageways and they have to be through kind of very specific areas with very specific things, with very specific room amounts for different groups and sizes of groups of people. So um, it's a little bit tricky, but I'm actually very surprised at how well it's turning out. Like, I don't think it could be going better, especially because at first it was like, I've never done a map like this. I mean, I've done like, you know, more like maps for school and stuff, like for history, but not kind of this kind of a map where you show all these mountains and stuff, but it's turning out pretty good. So I'm actually quite pleased. Um, I'm kind of, you know, about several days ago, I was kind of in the boy, is this story even any good kind of a place? And now I'm like, okay, with some tweaking, this is, this is pretty good story. So yeah. So this evening I took a break from writing and story stuff to do some drawing for some new story ideas because, I mean, we're writers, we all have those. So it has been three days since I have written much of anything and that's okay because I'm taking a break now that I've kind of finished the first preliminary round of plotting and drafting for my Camp NaNoWriMo project. I am kind of on a hold for the moment so that I can step back and come at it again with fresh eyes and then hopefully be able to read it to uh, my family. But uh, for now, I finally decided to reward myself for finishing my Camp NaNoWriMo project and I um, got, I downloaded this fun program that I'd been using on my phone, but I wanted to download the real version. Um, and it's called Plotagon and it's like just this fun thing that you can use to um, animate your stories and stuff like that so I'm animating an old story from when I was 12 I might like do a video on that and then I was animating scenes from like my main project because it was fun although I did find a problem I won't be able to up upload this fairy tale to YouTube right now because I wrote this back when I was 12 so how could I know that it would come to this now but like the main problem in like this short story is that like the kingdom has this big epidemic and uh, I don't think that would sit real well if I tried to post anything like like that right now. I don't know about you, but I think that people would think I was trying to make a connection, which I'm not. It's just a story I wrote when I was 12. But anyway, yeah, this is fun. Um, still working on new story ideas, obviously, but for now, just generally taking a break. So it is May 14th, 
and yesterday I started kind of, I mean, it, it, kind of big picture editing, sort of. I realized through some very helpful YouTube videos that the main problem in my story is really the character arcs. They don't really have clear character arcs and like they're not consistent character arcs. Like they change at the beginning and then they don't like change until the end. It's it's just too, it, it's not clear enough to the reader or in my case or the writer. So I'm going to work on the character arcs specifically and so I'm not even sure if that Excel document that I made is going to really prove of any worth to me. Um, but at least, you know, hey, I tried it, and then I also probably should, uh, maybe chart my story as far as, like, wins, like, each step, like, this is, this is the inciting incident, this is, you know, the act one, I, I know what the climax is, but that way I just kind of have a better idea of, like, yes, this is the structure of the story versus just the act one, the act two, and the three, in more specific points to help me wrap my head around you know, each step in each character's journey and how that relates to the story structure. So, yeah. Enough talk. I'm going to get character arc editing. There's, like, a random bluebird in the beginning of the story that's, like, her companion and then, like, never shows up again. So, maybe I should just cut it. I think my story takes way too long to get to the inciting incident. My readers aren't going to care enough about my characters. <laughs> <sighs> Wow, so I'm like making my main character's arc more clear and their misbelief and struggle more real and all of a sudden I relate to it so much more and it's like almost like disturbing just a little bit because like it's something that it, it's not like an obvious thing that I have dealt with but it's kind of like gee I really relate to that and it's kind of like now I really want to get the character arc even better and more straightforward so that then I can kind of see the ending even though I technically already wrote the ending. Does that sound weird? Okay, so I just got done with the first round of editing for my Camp Nanorama project and it's like, okay, kind of is a pretty good story. Like, I was fixing some things and like as I actually went through and read it for the first time, like, seeing it more like a reader versus just like, okay, I gotta get this done, I gotta get this edited, and kind of doing a little bit more like big picture type editing, just fixing like inconsistencies and um, the character arc in a couple places. It's just like, yay, it's a good story, I like it. <laughs> it's kind of like, as a writer, you just go in phases of like, this is gonna be a good story, and this isn't the greatest story I've ever, have, ever written, and then like, man, this is a terrible story. I don't think my family's gonna like it. And then like, oh, that was a good story. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, put it down in the comments because I know I cannot be alone in that. So in conclusion, it took me between three and four hours to get the initial round of editing done between coming up with that outline and all that and then the actual editing. The outline uh, what, didn't end up being that helpful. I may find it more helpful later. I guess more than anything I enjoyed trying something new. I don't really know where I'm going to go from here. I feel like it's a pretty good story. Um, obviously it's still kind of, I did some things with the story that I don't normally do so I'm kind of just, you know, a little bit, it's kind of unnerving when you try something new and you don't know, you don't know how it will turn out to the eyes of your readers, like, because it's hard to gauge whenever you're the writer, uh, how it will sound and and stuff to your readers but normally at this point what I would normally do is I would read it aloud to my mom but I don't know if that's feasible right now maybe it will be I'm not sure I was thinking about reading it aloud to my family but then again I kind of would rather read it to my mom first because that way she can help me catch mistakes before I read it to everybody because you always that first round of reading it aloud or having someone else read it you catch things that like oh why didn't I think about that even though you've edited it edited it so much and you're like I don't think that would be the case but but yeah thank you for watching this video it's my first true vlog that I've done maybe you've gotten some insights on editing your own stories and hopefully at some point either here or on my Instagram I will be able to give an update as to how my Camp NaNoWriMo project like where it is in the future if it goes and ends up going anywhere which I mean hopefully it will but you know so stay tuned for that and stay tuned for more writing advice and writing vlogs because hopefully at some point I'll be doing more. Don't know what yet because I'm currently taking a break from writing 
just because, you know, when you get done with a project, there's kind of that initial, okay, what am I going to work on now? And then, of course, you know, I don't know if you, you ever had this happen, but then, like, the second you're done, you have, like, a really great day where you're, like, so focused to write and you don't have anything to write. I mean, I have a couple of pet projects, but they're not really pet projects, just side projects that I've been kind of either stuck on or just they're they're just not as important at the moment so I've tried to work on those but the problem is that I'm not I can't just force myself to get back into an old project because I was so absorbed in my Camp Nanorama project that I kind of got out of sync with those projects and I just hadn't been working on them as much anyway so now it's the question of when I do get back into writing will I be starting a new project or will I be finishing an old project that I've been working on for months or years <laughs> so I guess we will see. Stick around because hopefully there will be more writing vlogs coming in the future. Have a great day, guys. Adios, mis amigas. Adios, la mendiga. And happy writing or editing.